Okay, so when we are already inside of our SAP system, still you, and if you want, let's say, to develop something in there, still you cannot do that because there are few things that we need to do in order to get inside of the system uh, to develop. We are currently uh, logged in into the system, but you cannot develop anything just because uh, there are two more steps you need to do. So let me, what I will do, I will just uh, stretch this window so that you have you have see you see that on the whole screen and first of all what we what we need should, what we uh, should do is to go into the s license transaction i i will d just type it here and hit enter and i am currently here in the transaction you should probably you should probably he uh, see here uh, some kind of license here uh, in in your case it will be probably a green license in mine in my case it is uh, it is inactive so what i will do and you should do that you should do also the same to go into ed, uh, highlight the license go to edit and delete license this is the first step that you should do as well so that you are in the state that your sap system is in invalid uh, license key state and what we should do right now is to go into SAP's side where you can get your license, your new license, which is dedicated directly for your hardware. So I will open up my browser. I will open a new tab. And what I will do, I will just type here sap.com and minisap. Hit enter. And you get to the website where SAP offers their SL license keys for developer versions of, of SAP trial systems and so on. This license is valid only for three months. And if your uh, validation of this license expires, then you can prolong it uh, again and again and again. So at the end, you can have this uh, SAP system for how many days you can you, you want to have, depending on how long SAP will offer their licensing. But this, uh, from from uh, from experiences, SAP has offering that regularly. So even though you have older SAP SAP trial systems, you still can prolong your access to your SAP system. So this is this should be no sh this should be no problem for you. Okay, so right now we want to get our license for our local SAP system. So you go into all available SAP systems for Windows and Linux, and we are going to search for NPL uh, system. Uh, here is Here are two NPL systems, and we are searching for Sybase ASE. This is our installation, which we already have installed on our, on our system. So you go here and select NPL, and when you go even uh, more down, you have to provide your personal data so what i will do i will just uh, say that i'm mr uh, ladislav uh, rizik and i will provide my email address uh, ladislav rizik at aboveacademy.com and uh, here is also hardware key so this hardware key you will get directly from s license transaction so let me go inside of the s license transaction and if you look up on your screen, uh, here is on here is active hardware key. So this is what you should copy and go back to the uh, SAP site and paste it here. So according to this hardware key, SAP will be able to generate a license specifically for your installation. So and at the end, we have to agree with the license agreement. So let's hit OK or check this uh, checkbox, you should go through this license agreement and if you agree, just hit on agree. And what SAP will do, it offers you generate license. So you will hit on generate and you should find already uh, your generated license file in your downloads folder. So let me go directly inside of my folder of which where I have all the downloaded files. So here is my installation and I will, when I will go here, I already see the newest when I sort it by date. This is the newest file. So this is NPL file. When I double click on that, you can see how this installation looks like. So inside of his uh, SAP system name, your hardware key, uh, installation number, uh, since when this SAP system is going to be valid till when, 
uh, and some license key which is generated so we can just uh, close it and we will go inside of our uh, NS, uh, S license transaction so let me go inside of my SAP system and what I will do I will go to edit install license and let's search for my install or license so he, I'm, here I am in my uh, downloads folder for my SAP system and I hit uh, double click on NPL and right now um, you may get the pop up the following pop up window with the security uh, issue because SAP is going to upload uh, some file or data from some file from your local PC into SAP system and if you want and this is the question if you want to proceed if you want to allow SAP to do that or not and you want to remember the choice so we will allow to do that and right now our SAP license key is successfully installed so hit OK and right now you should see all green licenses within your SAP license uh, as license transaction so this is the first step which you should do in order to get in uh, or to start coding uh, in SAP trial system so this is the first thing uh, just continue to the next lecture where you will learn how to create your first SAP program and you will be able to do some coding in there with one more prerequisite so let's move forward